what's up my people it's me again with another career draw tutorial today i just want to uh, to teach us how to design this uh, simple beautiful flyer i designed it for one of my clients and the person really love it I, I just feel i should share the idea with you guys how i made the flyer uh, first of all i want to show you the the tools i use before we we start so this if you look into this folder these are the two things i use <coughs> this very one and this very one so we are going to design everything from scratch so you follow me let's take them to correct draw like this and here we go boom they have come now what i want you to do now is to know the size of your paper this very paper is on square size which is 12 by 12 size and why i'm using 12 by 12 because it's a kind of uh, flyer that is going to be used online and anything you are using online the actual size for web page design is a square size it can be 10 by 10 12 by 12 the same thing applicable when you are trying to design a true pillow you can design a true pillow you use 18 by 18 inches but we are going to do tutorial on true pillow design so now let's get started uh, on this particular uh, flyer you can see this one will be here then we we'll replicate it then I, will, I can share this this very particular image with you and uh, you will use so this image i crop it already i'm going to drop a tutorial on how to crop background if you don't know how to crop background using corel draw for you too then uh, let's quickly dive into it so i'll pick my rectangle to i'll draw it then give it the size of this paper which is of this uh, my page which is 12 by 12 i'll click on the rectangle go to this place and input 12 by 12 so i now press enter on my keyboard i have the size i press p to match it on the on the page then what i'll now do is to give it a black color by going to this place and locate black and click on black then i'll now make the outline as well a black outline right by right clicking and click set outline color then what i'll do next is to take this one to the page and bring it up like this then i press shift page up shift what page up to bring it to the front of the whole page now it is out or or from the from behind the page then having done this i want to make sure I put this one into this particular place just like it is here so what I will do I'll pick my because this one is already an image and uh, you to avoid uh, to avoid distorting the shape or anything what I'll just do is to pick my oval tool or circle tool and what hold down control you hold control so that you can have it uh, very well round like this then I'll, I'll click and drag to draw my over so having draw it i'll take it to the page on this particular place and see if it's matched i can see you can see it matched then what i'll do is to give it uh is to, to remove the outline by right clicking this place and click on this remove a uh, set outline color so this thing does not have outline again you get so what i'll do i'll give it a black color so that i can see it. i'll click on this image right click it and click power clip inside it has entered into the cycle. I hold, you hold down Alt key. When you hold Alt key, Alt key is to enable you select what you have in the power clip. I said if you want to select what you have in the power clip, you click, you hold down Alt key and click that image. Then you can act, you can adjust it to suit you wherever you want it to to be. Or for example, you you have uh, you want to. There's another way to edit. Uh, power clip so right click and click edit power clip then you now you put you hold down your your, your power clip image and do, do it like this then you click on finish now you take it to the page now it has enter you can see how it looks now you now do what you shift it make sure you shift it to fit onto the circular uh, image now we we'll have we we'll have it we we'll have it done this way so 
now here we go we we'll have it already so the next thing you are going to do is to do your write-up but then I, I want to tell you that we we'll have different type of font on this page and the first uh, font you are seeing here is called taken by the vulture so what you do you pick your text to and write my name my name is sorry if you can hear some noise that is the, my uh, keyboard that I'm pressing so having done this I'll give it a white color I you have to be one thing you should bear in mind when you are designing is to be consistent with your choice of color you should avoid the use of too many color because when you use too many color on the design the colors will contradict each other and uh, it will distort the whole beauty of the design so now I've done this I will now uh, go to my fonts and type taking taking by for sure you can see so here we go I yeah, will increase the font size so that it can appear I will increase it so this is not this is not the actual taken by virtual used this is the demo I will look for the actual one oh, sorry the delay the PC taken by the This is the one I use. So increase it to come out. Now my name is I will now pick Kudi. Write Kudi like this. And then I will I will change the case to upper case. Let me first of all increase the font size to somewhere like 40 or 72. I will now press uh, so that I can see what I wrote very well. Then I'll control A, shift F3 to change case. I'll make it uppercase so that it can be all capitalized. Having done this, I'll take it to the page. I'll give it a white color as well. I'll give it white. And I'll go to this with the font I use here is called Lato. I look for Lato. Then I I come on it. Lato. Then I choose Lato uh, Heavy or Lato Black. So this is it. So we have it. Shift it up a bit. Shift it up a bit. Then uh, I'll increase my Kudi like this. There we go. Then you balance it up this way. Then you now uh, wrote your Abdullah shift it up a little then I wrote my Abdullah Abdullahi control A shift F3 to change case change it to upper case then I give it another white color like this this is it now if you see the font for Abdullahi, you can see that the Abdullahi is a little bit uh, smaller than uh, than the Kudi because I am trying to. Sorry, that's my phone ringing. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, because I am trying to to apply what we call hierarchy in design, so that will enable me. To have a beautiful design as well and because if you don't have hierarchy your design will not look good so you can see this is my name is Kudi Abdullahi as you can see and uh, we we'll have to proceed with the design the next thing I want to do is what a mass communicator you see so I'll click here drag this down and right click to duplicate then I will now control A I press A and make cap lock A mass I stop there I stop and then 
arrange it this is the font size to a kind of 100 or 72 is okay you drop it this way this way to centralize because i'm using a kind of centralized arrangement then i press communicator mass communicator Control a then c o m m u and i c a t Hola. communicator the font i use to write my communicator is codec codec that's the name of the font codec 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 code so i use a bolder style of codec so i go here and uh, make it uh, bold codec this is the one i used actually so i reduce it to go under the mass communication cater so that i it can look fine so i shift it here then increase this a little because it's the actual message i want it to show very well this is the actual message i'm passing across so this is a mass communicator and you say the mass communicator come voice over come voice over voice over control a c u m then voice over having done this and then drop it here leave it here then specialist I'll bring this one here to write specialist change that font specialist which is a voice over specialist I will bring it down a little the font size down a little somewhere like this somewhere like this so this is it now as you can see uh, we are almost through so the voiceover if you see the way i wrote my voiceover here you can see the o yeah i, I is different so what i did was just i i drag i, I pick my over to and i give it this color you can see then uh, I increase it mm -hmm. yeah this is how I do it then uh, line color sorry you're going to hear some noise you pardon me for that that's my neighbor making that noise so after duplicating it I give this one this uh, color and this line color should be increased to something like this or around 4 so you group them control G then reduce it a little take it here then increase and uh, press space to to give it space like this so that you can have your voice over B okay so here we go here we go can see trying to create that stuff there and bring it bring this here so you can see have that voice over then the O here as well you remove it then you you create this duplicate this and place it here then give it a space like that and you have your voice over especially like that so the next thing we want to do is to uh, 
uh, create this one what I used was just my rectangle I pick my rectangle create it this way then right click and convert it to curve pick my shape to I pick my shape to and then do it this way like that and I'll give it the color and then right click here to remove the outline I took I now take it here I'll just uh, hold shift and drag it up then right click to duplicate then the one the bigger one that I have now I'll just remove the the, the field by clicking this place and then give it outline color of the same color like this then I'll now right hold a uh, highlight everything together and power clip it inside here this is what I did meanwhile meanwhile I I will edit power clip and reduce this then increase this a little then I click finish so you have this then you now see if you need my services why not if you need my services why not if you need my services why not ctrl a shift f3 to title case then i make it ctrl e to centralize alignment I drop my tool take it here and give it a white color then reduce it to kind of 18 or 20 will be better stuff like this and make it bold and arrange it well then and I say call or shut me call control or shut me let's this course business now so this is it having done this this shots uh, this very short uh, this thing symbol I created it is I create it, I click my rectangle, I drag it, use my shape to click the node here and drag to have a rounded rectangle like this. Then I pick my uh, pen tool from here and I click, drag it here this way. I take it up here this way. I take it up here this way. Then having done that, I select both together and I wield. It becomes a shot uh, symbol then I now drag it down a little I take it here give it white color zoom out to see what I'm doing here bring it down to cover shots alone you can see shots shots me color of shots and I'll bring it page down then I will give this shots a different color maybe black so I can show well then uh, that's that so as you can see that now the next thing is uh, to add the phone number phone number so I will add the phone number. I think by that we are almost done and I will add a Facebook handle. So phone number is uh, 081 so having done that I will give it white color give it white color then make it gold then the phone number
number symbol i got it from this clips which is web name symbol it's a web name symbol i bring it out give it white color and then fix it this way I rotate it a little bit then move it a bit closer increase it to somewhere like 26 so that it can come out a little big and zoom into page then this one this facebook uh symbol i downloaded it from printress you can look for it facebook icon i don't want to go through my system to look for it all over again so you just put it in type a name kudirato is a as a facebook name then you put then we'll have the same uh, flyer so this is how i designed this very beautiful flyer within a short period of time i hope this tutorial helped a little bit and make sure you subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new video like this thank you for watching i will appreciate and make sure you share the video to your friends and loved ones so they can